Good morning, Calvary Chapel Hemet family. Uh, today, it's me, Michael, here to share another daily devotional with you guys. Today, we're going to be in 1 John chapter 3, and verses 16 through 23. And so, uh, what we're going to be talking about today is the life of love, a loving life, um, and what that looks like, what we're called to do as believers, and the contrast to uh, how uh, the world sees love today in our day and age. The, twisted view uh, it's kind of been turned into um, but before we get started let's go ahead and uh, greet the Lord in prayer hey Lord thank you for this time we get to spend in your word pray that you would bless it and that you would uh, work in our lives and change us into your image more daily Lord we pray that it, this would be a continual thing Lord that we would take this time set it aside that you would continually grow us uh, for the work that you have for us and more importantly to grow closer to you in Jesus name we pray all right, and so I'll just go ahead and begin in verse 16. Um, we read, By this we know love, because we, he laid down his life for us, speaking of Jesus. And we also ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But, before, but whoever has this world's goods and sees his brother in need and shuts up his heart from him, how does the love of God abide in him? My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And by this we know that we are of the truth, and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our heart condemns us, God is greater than our heart, and knows all things. Beloved, if our heart does not condemn us, we have confidence toward God. And whatever we ask, we receive from him, because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, as he gave us commandment. And so the first thing we notice is in verse 16. By this we know love, because he laid down his life for us. Yet such a simple phrase, but it has such profound meaning, that God would lay down in the flesh, both 100% God and 100% man, he would lay down his life for us. And we also ought to lay down our lives for others. It's, it's a statement of what God did for us and drawing that to how we should do to others. If he took that uh, stand, he took that strength and that uh, trial to lay down his life for us, he put the effort to doing that out of love for us, demonstrating uh, what his love is like towards us, to the fact that he would lay his life down to save us from our sins, our trespasses. Why should we not do the same for others? And on much simpler of a level, he refers to physical and uh, needs in the daily life, not in the spiritual, which is what God did for us. He took away the, the burdens of our sins, which was leading to our eternal death and replace that with his righteousness the the commandment is simply to not withhold uh, what the needs of the brethren are so if someone needs something and, and you have the ability to give and you have the, the liberality to give you should be able to give and not shut up your heart from it that's what love is it's not self-pleasing which is what the world sees today it's the world his definition of love is um, maybe a guy or a girl likes each other. and oh, It's all about feelings and not about the work. Sure, love had, does have feelings, but God's definition of love, agape love, is a sacrificial love. The love that sacrifices one's own needs and one's own desires to help another and with no personal gain. There's no personal gain um, out of giving liberally. And what we see later is my little children in verse 18 let us not love in word or in tongue but in deed and in truth by this we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him and so it's you you get um, a lot of people today will say oh I, I, i'll help you with this but um it's not the word or the tongue or whatever spoken it's that we are to do by deed these works so it's not um just verbally assuring it um, 
we are to be men and women of our word, but uh, more so it's better to uh, do the deed of love. So like go and um, someone needs, uh, I don't know, they're behind on their bills, you have the ability, you, you're, you're well off, and you can help them out with that, um, should the Lord place that on your heart. Um, but not just telling everyone, oh, I can help you with this, I can help you with that, and never actually doing it. We, just as um, we are not to, if a father asks his son to go do something and the son says yes, um, but the son never actually goes and does, does it, and he goes to his other son and the son says no, then the, the son feels bad afterward. This is, this is a parable that Jesus used. Um, and then he goes and does it. Um, which one's better? The one who actually does the work. And so it's not the intentionality behind it but the the actual doing of it even if it's self-sacrificial and so um, this is by which the the grounds we, we work and base upon our love not of ourselves not self-fulfilling but of serving others as Christ served us he came down to this earth not to please himself not to condemn the world um, but to sacrifice himself for others and he, he could have come as a king, he could have come in power, but he didn't. He came in, in a manger, and he sacrificed his life so that we could have eternal life with the Father in heaven. So I hope this has just been a word of encouragement for you guys today. I pray that you take it throughout the week and that, that the Lord will bless you uh, as you continue to study the word on a daily basis.